So today I wanted to have a little bit of fun creating a bold colorful look using this new Gourmand Girls eyeshadow palette. It's a collab palette with Gourmand Girls and Doodles by The Bunny. Extremely talented artist and they came up with this cute little Halloween themed palette. As you can see there's some beautiful bold matte shades in here as well as some absolutely gorgeous colorful shimmers perfect for the season and just in time for Halloween. So to start out today's look, of course, I need to just carve out my brows, trying to make them look a little bit neater. So I'm using my Wet n Wild Concealer in the shade Deep Cocoa. I've used this concealer to carve out my brows for so long, you guys. <laughs> I don't know if I would ever use anything else. It works perfectly for me. It's very easy to use. Now to prep my lids, I'm going in with my P. Louise base. This is the eyeshadow base in the shade Rumor 04. I'm just tapping that on with a brush, but I'm also going in and blending it out with one of my little smaller sponges just to make sure that the base is nice and even all over my eyelid for this look. Now the first shade I'm going into is a matte orange in the palette. It's called Haunted and I'm just gently tapping that in my crease and blending it up towards my brow bone. I didn't want this orange to be too, too vibrant on the lid, so I know it looks very light, but that's only because I'm only applying a small amount right now. I really wasn't sure exactly what direction I wanted to go, but I know that I want to blend some of these beautiful oranges and reds and purples together, so. That's what I'm doing here, just gently blending that up into my brow bone to create a nice faded effect. Now the next shade I'm going into is a more bold color. It's the red and it's called, what is this shade called? Child, y'all know I can't see. I think it's Terror. <laughs> it's a bold red shade called Terror and I'm applying that in the crease. As you can see, I'm making it a little bit more pigmented because I want that to show more than the orange. But I'm basically just focusing that in the crease and blending it up into that orange shade. Now I'm going back in with that orange just to kind of make sure it didn't get lost and making sure it's a nice blend with that red. Really like how those shadows are performing. Now this is when it got really fun for me because I love, love, love mixing these colors together. Now I'm going in with the dark purple shade in the palette, which is called Cauldron. And I'm just using a fluffy brush to apply that in the outer corner. As you can see, I'm really focusing on blending it with those first two shades. Want to make sure it's not too, too dark and too, too um, potent in my outer corner. So just doing a nice blend with that red and that orange. And these shadows are blending very nicely together. I just love that. I know this is supposed to be kind of like a Halloween vibe, but we can always appreciate a nice sunset look on the eye. So that's what this is giving me right now, that beautiful sunset vibe. As you can see, I decided to tap a little bit in that inner corner as well, because I'm gonna go with more of a halo look today. So yeah, just using that same fluffy brush and tapping some of that deep dark purple in that inner corner. Now before I go down with my shimmer, I wanted to place some of my e.l.f. glitter primer on my lid. This stuff is really great for adhering shimmers and glitters and things like that to the lid. So I'm going in with my finger and just applying some of that beautiful green shimmer shade which is called Apple Bob. 
and that primer really worked well to adhere that to my lid as you can see i'm not having any issues with pigment and it's not moving <laughs> it's not going anywhere so very very beautiful green shade i really love how that applied and how it looks with this purple and red and orange so for liner i'm just going in with this black matte waterproof liner that i picked up from amazon had these for a while couldn't tell you how much they were you guys but they were very affordable it was like a multi-pack and i'm just applying a nice thick line on my lash line no wing today just want to kind of add that nice thick liner for this look And I think it worked out well with no wing. Now for my lashes today, I'm going in with a new release from DJ's Unique Boutique. I purchased these a little while ago. Very, very pretty style of lashes. And so I'm using those with this look today. Very easy to apply. And I like how they have kind of like the peekaboo effect to where you can still see your eyeshadow design through the lashes, even though they are you know, nice and dramatic as well. So I really, really like the look of these with this eye look. Now I'm going in with some of my Thrive Mascara just to kind of blend my own natural lashes in with these falsies. Cause if I don't do that, my lashes will be looking crazy <laughs> if I don't get the lash band quite close enough. Now moving on to the face, I'm starting out with my primer. And for primer today, I'm using this Ulta Mattifying Face Primer. Really, really like this primer, you guys. It does fill in my pores just a bit, not a whole lot, but just enough to kind of help add a blurring effect to my skin. Now to help with my dark circles, I'm using this NYX Bear With Me Concealer before I go in with my foundation. I decided to go in with a brush even though I typically would use a sponge for this, but using a brush today, I can see that the coverage on this concealer is really, really nice. Um, I didn't need to use as much as I did, but you know, had I used a sponge, it would have soaked up a bit more of the concealer and blended out a little bit more sheer. So yeah, this uh, concealer has really nice coverage, you guys. For foundation, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever HD Skin. This has quickly become one of my favorite foundations. I love everything about it. I love the finish. I love how it applies, the lasting power. I love the shade and tone that I have. So it just really, really looks nice when I have my completed makeup look. It's some serious coverage, so I don't use it that often out here with it still being hot. But yeah, when I just want a full beat look on my face, this is the perfect foundation to go to, you guys. Really, really nice coverage. It doesn't look cakey, but it will definitely cover up a multitude of sins, okay? <laughs> so really, really liking that foundation. Now to brighten up some areas, I'm going in with this J-Cat Stay Assurance Concealer. It's a little bit of a lighter shade concealer, so just using that to kind of brighten under my eyes, as well as the bridge of my nose, you know, highlight my chin a little bit, and my forehead. So that's what I'm using today. This concealer is very nice as well for an affordable concealer you know drugstore concealer um yeah it's it has nice coverage as you can see it's not my absolute favorite concealer that's juvia's place as you guys probably know if you watch me regularly but this one is not bad as well for an affordable concealer nice little bit of brightening not too too bright i don't like that super super light look so to set those highlighted areas, I'm going in with my Huda Beauty Loose Powder in the shade Cinnamon Bun. Y'all, this powder is the bomb. <laughs> it's the truth. I love this powder. If you haven't tried it, you should definitely try it out. You know, if you like a nice, flawless, full coverage powder, 
yeah that's what you're gonna get from this I really really love this from Huda Beauty so I like using it under my eyes for sure definitely around my mouth and areas that crease a lot like when I smile and things like that it sets it down really nice and lasts all day so you can use it all over your face or you can just use it for highlighted areas now to warm up my face and set the rest of it I'm going in with my locket foundation powder from KVD in the shade deep 200 as you can see it's absolutely my favorite <laughs> ever since I got my hands on this powder it's been my favorite and that has not changed yet so just using that as you can see to set the rest of my face warm it up a bit just a very very light dusting now to bronze I decided to use my Juvia's Place bronzer as you can see there's two different shades in here for me I tend to blend both of them together just to get my perfect bronzer shade now I really don't contour I, I just don't I kind of use my bronzer as you know bronzer and to warm up underneath my cheekbones and just add a little bit of shading there so as you can see you know I apply it like a contour even though I go in and blend it out like a bronzer so just applying that to the perimeter of my face as well as the hollows of my cheeks also go in you know under the chin in between the neck and the face just to create that shadow of warmth now for blush going in with this cute little color pop blush it is called baby cakes love this beautiful rosy shade it's actually really nice for all year round not just fall not just spring summer I love a good rosy blush any time of the year so very very pretty color nice pigment you got to be careful because you can go in too much with this blush if you're heavy-handed but it is an easy fix it does fix easily with powder so yeah I really really love this shade now to get my highlight on today going in with artist couture this is one of their diamond Lux luminizers honey drip as you can see absolutely beautiful oh this highlighter is gorgeous I love it <laughs> definitely love the detailing the packaging all of that so yeah just highlighting the usual areas um, I do kind of like to highlight the apples of my cheeks sometimes because I like when the light hits there it just looks really pretty so going in of course the center of the bridge in my nose and the tip just to add that little bit of highlight there now to set everything and melt my face in place I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting mist and this stuff is really really nice you guys it just kind of adheres everything to your face <laughs> for lack of a better way to put it now I'm going in with my beauty creations shamrock eyeliner placing that on the lower lash line you guys know I love those pops of color and since I have that green in the center of the lid I felt like it would be really pretty to add some green on the lower lash line today as well and to kind of make that pop even more I decided to go in with some more of that deep dark purple matte shade from the palette and just kind of smoke that out on my lower lash line definitely giving me Halloween vibes turning this into that nice spooky look that I'm looking for <laughs> very very pretty you guys as you can see these shadows perform very very nice very easy to use application flawless and it blends out very very well and as you can see that orange and that red and that purple just came together really really nicely on the lid now I wanted to go in with that pop of brightness in the inner corner of course and you guys know me I like to use the matte sometimes so I'm going in with just a matte white shade from the palette no shimmer and it's funny when it blended in with that purple it kind of gave it like this iridescent type look and I really really love that so to complete the lower lashes, I'm finishing them off with some more of that Thrive Mascara. And for my lips, you guys, I forgot to actually show that, but I did use one of my Black Moon lipsticks. Very pretty nude shade. 
Um, I will have to list it because I can't remember the name of it. And also went in with one of my Sephora lip liners. Love these lip liners. They're so smooth and creamy, you guys. And they're twist up, so you don't have to sharpen them. Love, love, love them. Perfect for this eye look. Nothing too dramatic. So this is it, you guys. This is the look that I created with this new Gourmand Girls and Doodles by The Bunny eyeshadow palette that came out for Halloween. I think it's super cute, super fun. If you're thinking about picking it up, I really like it. This first impression was great. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And as usual, I'll see you on my next video. Toodles.